Great defense. Um, you know, uh, extremely high IQ and, and a great playmaker. You know, so I know what he's going to bring to the table. As far as role, that's not really, you know, my job. You said in the past that you've learned defensively from him early in your career, right? What, what specifically did you learn? From him on I learned how to guard the post first. Uh, the first day I got here, he kind of showed me how you can guard the post in the NBA, which I had no clue. You know, leaving college, you got to kind of guard the post with your chest, which is ridiculous. Um, in the NBA, you get you get torched guarding the post with your chest. So, uh, you know, my first day here, he, he you know he taught me that. But then just uh, different different defensive rotations, uh, and most importantly, how to communicate on that side of the ball. What about his uh, physical play? Is that Add a little bit to what your guys make? Definitely. Uh, you know, down the stretch, we're going to need that. When I say down the stretch, I mean the playoffs, by the way. We're going to need that physicality. So, absolutely. Personality, how's that? That fits in nicely with you guys again, right? Just because you all, a bunch of you know them and kind of keeps things loose. But it's, it's yeah, it fit the first time. Uh, and, um, you know, we're not. You know, I think we've all grown as people, uh, as men, but I don't think we've changed. So I can't foresee it not working this time or fitting this time. You know, it's, it's our brother. You know, we're looking forward to having him back here. What's going to be? What, what, what did you guys talk about today in practice? Just Steve wasn't, nobody was happy last night after, after that one. Steve said he wants you guys to play angry. And um, Kevin said, everybody needs to be better. Um, yeah, we sucked. Uh, we got embarrassed. But it's just about competing. You know, I, I don't think we came out with the, you know, right intensity level, you know, with the playing with that competitive spirit that we need to play with in order to win games at a high level. And so, you know, we just got to compete. We compete, can't nobody beat us. And even sometimes when we don't compete, people still can't beat us. But we need to compete. I mean, it's frustrating, but you got to pick and choose your spots. You know, that's one thing I've learned over the course of time is just pick and choosing your spots. Sometimes you just got to chalk it up, charge it to the game. And then sometimes there's a time and place to say something. Last night we were so out of it, I didn't think that was really the time and place to say nothing. Just, you know, you just charge it all into the game and then come back and, you know, fix it today. Steve also said that he needs to do a better job getting you guys ready, ready for the game. So a few questions off of that. Uh, both. Um, I think, you know, you obviously appreciate when your coach takes some responsibility for you. Um, but I think there's a lot of things that we need to work on. Is there anything that you guys can work on that you feel like you need to work on more than you have been working on all year? Uh, I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's something that we need to work on. I think that's uh, as far as him getting us ready, is there more he can do? I think there's always more he can do. I think there's always more our entire coach staff can do. And then on the flip side of that, there's way more that we can do as players. Uh, you know, because at the end of the day, they can do all that they can do. And if we come out lacking energy and dead like we did last night, it's not going to matter. And so uh, the responsibility falls on everybody, uh, them being as good as they can possibly be as a coaching staff, which we know what they're capable of. And then us being as good as we can possibly be as players, which we also know we're capable of. So just got to put it all together, but I mean, we're fine. With that starting lineup, is it just some growing pains right now? What do you attribute it to? And do you, what, what's, gonna, what's it going to take to get to that next level? Oh, I think so many people are kind of looking at the starting lineup and saying, oh, um, like DeMarcus in there and the defense is worse, but our defense has been horse shit no matter who's in there. And, um, you, you know, it's, 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 it's easy to look at the numbers and think the numbers tell the story, but the fact of the matter is we haven't been competing. So, you know, we can look at it and say, oh, man, that star lineup hasn't done well or, you know, this, that, and the other on defense or offense, however you want to break it down. But the fact of the matter is if you're not competing, we you really don't know if it worked or not, you know. So... We, it starts with competing. 
at the level we need to compete at, then you can kind of get a better read on what's working and what isn't. But right now, you can't get a read because we're not competing at, at a high level. I think so. Um, I don't see a problem with the vibe of the team. We just haven't competed. But then, you know, you gotta set some goals too, which we talked about today. Like, what are our goals? You know, you, you expect to go out there and compete every day, but if you're not, if you're not playing for something in particular, what are you really competing for? You know, we can use the old cliche line of like, oh, where well, every time you step on the floor, you want to get better. But like, we didn't do that last year and we still ran to the playoffs. And so it's easy to take that mindset again and say, yeah, like, we'll just get to the playoffs and we'll turn it on. I don't want to live on the edge like that. And, you know, hopefully, you know, the switch flips on. I don't want to do that. I think we got need to continue to get better at lock in right now. And so, that's you know what what matters now. Nothing else really matters right now. Not quite. Uh, last year was treacherous. It, it ain't. No, nah, I don't see quite the same. Other than the last two games, we really haven't competed. It, but it's not the same. What are the goals you guys set? We need to execute better. We need to defend better. Um, and we need to get home court. We don't need to get home court, but we want to get home court. So, Who spoke that's up? a goal. Who spoke up? Everybody. A lot of people spoke up, which was good. How have you felt about your defense? Do you feel like you're in line to be in the conversation for Player of the year again, which I know is a goal. With the way our defense is playing as a team, it's impossible. And that's just not, you know, that falls on me as the leader of that side of the ball. Um, you know, you gotta, you know, it falls on me to get guys to lock in on that side of the ball. I haven't done a good job of that uh, because we're clearly not locked in on that side. So. Uh, that, you know, that, that directly falls on me to get, you know, sometimes in life you got to make people do what they necessarily don't, may not want to do. Defense is usually one of those things. No one really wants to play defense, so I, I, I have to focus on that and do a better job at that. Can you give us a couple of specific examples on defense of things you, you're not doing? It's pretty, you know, it's kind of vague to say that you got to be more intense or whatever, but are there any specific? Switching enough, I think teams enough. are just getting what they want. Uh, you got to take, you know, in this league, it's about taking teams out of their patterns. You know, everyone got their patterns and what they're used to. And when you see a team struggle, it's usually because the team took them out of what they really wanted to do. And um, we haven't taken anyone out of what they want to get to. When you don't, you know, you just let us run our offense. It's second nature make somebody have to counter or go away from what they're really trying to get to, then it becomes a little tougher. So you got to take teams out their patterns. Um, and that starts with aggression. Uh, it starts with ball pressure. And it starts with, you know, um, everybody, you know, moving together, uh, working together on that side of the basketball. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.